Uh, so I have to introduce our chief guest. All of you can go look him up on uh, Wikipedia. So I'm not going to tell you uh, in detail what you can already find on Wikipedia. What do we know about him? He's a public policy visionary. He's hardworking. He's someone who never gives up. He's often given the story of how he convinced Bill Gates to come to Hyderabad. He's 73 years old, and uh, he hasn't aged much in the last 10 or 15 years that I have seen him. So how, how he takes care of his health, discipline, we all know this, we can see this. What are things uh, that you may know less of that I would like to say? It is his, a couple of things that I will say. One is his humility and the value he attaches to ego. He doesn't let it come in his way. If something has to happen, right? There have been many chief ministers in our country. Would they go running after Bill Gates? They'll say, no, let Bill Gates come to me. He's the only person who said that, no, I'm who I am, my identity is not more important than my people. So the higher you grow, the more your ego grows, right? So how are you going to keep that in check? This is one example for you to remember. The other is, as a public policy leader, when he thought about the development of the state, one thing he said is very essential is the importance of, importance of safety, security, and also the growth and development of women and children. If you look at the journey of the erstwhile United States and today the separated states, the peace that he brought has brought prosperity. Today, Telugu people are the fastest growing demographic in many of the most developed nations. In the United States, it's the highest per capita income that they earn, larger than the Jewish community, and the fastest growing community in the US. In the top 10 cities of GRE test takers in the country, five cities belong to Andhra and Telangana. All of these were his value that he gave to bringing safety, peace to this environment. Tolerance. Today we see an environment where we want to undo what the other person has done or say what the other person has done is wrong. He created an environment of tolerance, he took criticism, he allowed it to exist. And if you see because of that, even after he lost power in 2004, subsequent governments continued what he started. The last four years is an anomaly. I hope something like that doesn't happen to Andhra again. But from 2004 to 2019, we could see how Telangana or Andhra Pradesh has progressed. And one other thing I think that's very important is, as humans, we age, we die, we get weaknesses, we get baggage. Everyone does. Even Chandrababu Nairgar. He's my leader politically in a different uh, leg of my life. But what sets him apart is, yes, he's got baggage. But how does one evolve? How does one shed baggage? How does one reinvent themselves for the future? Many leaders live very well for five years, three years, ten years. But someone who's been active and at the forefront of leadership and policy making from 83 till now, 2023, 40 years, and at the amount of pressure that he has been in, and still keeping himself fresh and evolved, learning. And now he's speaking about artificial intelligence more than I'm speaking, right? So this is the kind of leadership that we should all inspire to be. And with these uh, few words, I am very glad to introduce our chief guest, Chandrababu Nairgaru. And we are very grateful to you, sir, for coming and accepting our invitation.